News just coming in. Telangana MLA Malla Reddy has mocked Prime Minister Modi in a recent address at the ongoing assembly session. He said that he is trying to sell government enterprises as a chaiwala. Let's listen in. Swastika Das is with me on the phone line. Swastika, when this comment was made, did BJP protest? Are they making this an issue? Well, BJP has very little representation in the Telangana Assembly to begin with. They have only three MLAs. Uh, but yes, uh, when um, Malaghetti's comments have not gone down well with the party. In fact, they have uh, hit out at the KCR saying he's the one who is a proponent of the Nizami culture. He's the one who has been running a rule of dynasty politics, nepotism and corruption here. And that's why... They, he and his ministers have no moral standing to compare their style of governance with the clean image that the Prime Minister has. In fact, controversial comments made by Maladeti, remember, who was in the news in the recent times over IT rates, over uh, facing allegations of even uh, swindling funds and not uh, being a tax defaulter, in fact. Uh, Maladeti there said that on Friday, while talking about the different demands put forth by the BJP, saying how the budget was not accurate uh, to the estimation of the state, Malaredi said that Prime Minister Modi was trying to sell PSUs and even the Singareni collieries in the same way he sold chai earlier. These comments have not gone down well with the BJP. In fact, Malaredi, while he was making that speech, we could hear the entire Telangana Assembly Busting into laughter, in fact. And remember the ties between the ruling BRS as well as the um, central government have not been uh, well. And in fact, it's uh, ahead of the election. Okay. Uh, they've gone all out against the Modi government, attacking them over what they have done to the Telangana's development. That's all the right. question that they are facing. Okay, so Sika, do hold on. Let me get in the first reaction from the Bharti Yanta Party. Krishna Sagar Rao is here with me. Mr. Rao, first reaction to what the, the BRS MLA had to say, uh, saying that the way PSUs are being sold is exactly the way Prime Minister sold Chai. These condescending remarks are going to actually befall onto the party, BRS, because these are self-goals. Because the entire nation is respecting what Narendra Modi ji is doing with good governance and monetizing certain assets. He is one of the strategies for developmental capital, uh, you know, lay, capital layouts. Mm. And this is for the growth of the country. And if they don't understand it, uh, let it be. But um, these kind of condescending remarks are going to be working against them. Like we didn't say, Bharti Janta Party didn't say to Malaradi, who was actually delivering small-time milk packets to door-to-door -door earlier. Now today he is like, uh, into hundreds of crores of business, um, I don't know how. Hmm. But we didn't, we didn't never talked about how small he was when he started off. Okay. I okay. mean, uh, now look at what he is talking about, Chaiwala. So that's the greatness of Bharti Janta Party that a Chaiwala could become prime minister, and that's the greatness of Indian voters who have voted him there, okay. and to condescend him and to insult him is insulting the people of India, the voters of India. Okay, uh, Mr. Rao, will you hold on? Hold on. Let me also bring in Rabula Sridhar uh, Reddy into the conversation. He comes uh, from the BRS. Mr. Reddy, uh, this kind of remark, the Prime Minister and the Bharti Janta Party has always accepted that Prime Minister had a very humble beginning and they in fact has played it to their strength that a person who came from such a humble beginning could occupy the highest uh, you know, uh, political lead, uh, chair in, in this country, is a constitutional uh, chair of the Prime Minister. Uh, this kind of condescending remark, I mean, how is this helping matter politically for you? No, it was not the, the intention is not to insult the chair or insult the Prime Minister. It was only symbolically expressing that earlier, it is Prime Minister many a times, you know, claimed that he was selling chai. Now that many PSUs are sold, uh, public sector companies are sold in the country on a day-to-day -day basis, on a daily basis almost, all profit-making companies are being sold. So, Honorable Minister was saying the same. He was just quoting that 
earlier the prime minister was saying that he was selling chai hmm. today he is selling the public sector companies which are even making uh, you know profits to the private companies and to his corporate friends the message the intention is to convey the message not to insult the prime minister okay. that is what the bjp needs to understand and you know we have not made such you know derogatory uh, statements like you know like their state president and they are going to demolish the rooms of the secretariat blast the cms of civil residents or dig the graves we have not made such uh, statements and our intention was never to insult neither the prime minister nor any other constitutional functionary but they need to understand we are responsible our honorable okay. uh, minister's intention was not to insult the prime minister nor anybody else all right krishna sagar rao and rabulashi the ready thank you so much for joining